on there on our podcast is probably what's the, been the biggest push here in the past couple of years. We've gotten tons of listeners across the country uh, tune into that. We got over 100 episodes online, and we drop a new one every single Monday morning on the, on all the major platforms and Waypoint TV app. Um, and now your show uh, as well, Dan, the, the Outdoor Call Radio. We're getting plugged into your network and excited about that. So, man, we're, we're just, uh, we love to hunt. We're, we're based down here. Uh, in Texas is kind of where our, I would call it our hub is, if you will. But, uh, we, man, we have pro and field staffers across the country and in over a dozen different states. Um, so that, and that really helps us with our... Oh, you got her, dude. She's down. Let's go. Dude, I just shot a deer of a lifetime. Freaking smoke team. One with nature, and if you're a believer, one with God. Definitely gets your heart pumping. Boy, you are in trouble. Fall Obsession Podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Fall Obsession Podcast episode. Thank you guys for tuning in to another Monday morning with us here at Fall Obsession, and happy 4th of July weekend. I'm Sam with Fall Obsession, your podcast host. Pleased to be back here on with you guys. Um, So this week, our episode is actually going to be a little bit different than podcast episodes um, that we've had in the past. Um, Normally, you know, I'm I'm the show host. I'm the one that's bringing some guests in. I'm interviewing folks. I had an interesting opportunity for this week's episode to actually be the one being interviewed. Um, So kind of a, a first for us here at Fall Obsession, but Outdoors Dan who's a good friend of Larry McCoy and all the guys out there at the, at the outdoor group. Um, he has a, a radio show called the outdoor call radio. And, uh, it's an, he has an app that uh, you guys can download. I encourage you guys to go do that in your app store, um, where he plays live shows, um, every day. Like you have a scheduled time that, that your show is going to play live. Um, he also has a website and then, um, he's on a couple of local radio stations throughout the Midwest. Facebook Live, that, that kind of stuff. You can find his episodes as well. Anyway, um, he invited us to come on his radio show and talk about Fall Obsession. We are joining his network, uh, so Fall Obsession Podcast is actually going to be airing on his app uh, on Monday mornings, kind of on a, on a loop, I guess, throughout the day on Monday. But you guys can go check it out on there. The live show that I recorded with him is actually going to play, I believe he told me, this upcoming weekend. Um from the time that this podcast episode is dropping. So if you guys are listening now, you're getting a jump on it. This is the first time you guys are going to get to hear it if you didn't uh, catch the Facebook Live from uh, last Saturday. But all as I say, today's podcast is my conversation with Dan uh, when he had us on his radio show. I'm going to turn it over to that right now and let you guys tune in. Hope you enjoy. KRNT Des Moines is 1021 FM and 1350 ESPN. Des Moines Sports Leader. And that was gone! Des Moines Radio Group Station. You're listening to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Welcome back to hour number two of the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Uh, the hour number two is brought to you by the fine folks at Elite Archery. Have you taken the suitability challenge yet? If you have not, I encourage you to go to your nearest Elite dealer and give them a holler and go line up a shooting challenge. And I would encourage you to try the ter- uh, the ter- uh, terrain, the basin, or the uh, Envision. The Envision's what I'm shooting right now. I really love that bow. It's a tack driver, and if you want, once you get out there. Get it all set up to your proper draw length and the draw weight that you like to shoot. You are going to see what I am talking about when I talk about that elite field. That Envision's got that ASIM tri-track system, and it is amazingly well equipped to shoot. I love my bow, man. I think it goes. Hey, just check it out. Go to your nearest elite dealer, and you'll see what I'm talking about. That uh, that terrain. If you're on a budget, that's you can't ask for a better hunting bow on a on a budget than that terrain. You can see all that at Archery Field and Sports or you up at Sportsman's Warehouse or an elite dealer near you. Go check them out and tell them thanks for carrying elite. Hey, let's go over to the phones, and we're going to talk to someone that's not been on the show before. It's making his debut, Mr. Sam Thrash from Fall Obsession. Sam, good morning to you. Happy 4th. 
Morning, Dan. Happy Fourth. How are you doing, buddy? I'm good. What are y'all doing down in Texas this weekend? Let me guess. Barbecue. <laughs> man, I, I I wish, man. Uh, no no concrete plans for me. Actually, I'm just trying to to kind of take it easy and enjoy a holiday weekend. You know? well, wasn't that like the state food barbecue down there? Oh yeah, we got some good barbecue for sure. You have to come down and we'll uh, we'll try a few joints. Hey, don't don't threaten me, man. For a good don't threaten me on a good time. I'll be right there. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, that's good. Sam, uh, hey, uh, it's good to have you on. I already got, uh, do you know a gentleman by the name of Dan Corse, Corsi? I am, yes, I'm familiar. Yeah, he, he's all about fall obsession, man. He gave you a big fist bump already. Yeah, shout out to Dan for sure. Uh, he's, uh, I believe he's rocking an elite bow that he that he got in a giveaway from us. Uh, pretty pretty awesome cure from a couple years ago. So do, hope that bow's still serving you good, buddy. Do you know somebody from elite? Do you, do, you, do you know? You don't know that that one feller named Larry something, do you? Man, there's a guy named Larry over there, and I don't know, man. He's he's a questionable character for sure. Just, oh. uh, just one one weird feller, you know. Likes to hunt and do all the sorts of weird stuff, you know. So. I'm telling you, man. That he's he's a, he's like a jar of pickle relish. You just never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> no, yeah. we, we love some Larry, Dan. We love us some Larry. Dan. Oh, I do. Yes, I, I, I'll just I'm gonna leave that alone. I gotta I gotta I gotta see him. You know he. Uh, He's one of the. How do I describe Larry McCoy? He's a he is an enigma wrapped in a riddle. <laughs> how you like that? That's a very good summary. Yeah, yeah. I, I can. Yeah, that's a very good summary. <laughs> <laughs> Larry says tangy sensation. He's actually watching this on Facebook Live right now. <laughs> awesome. So, to, hey, tell everybody about fall obsession. What in the world is fall obsession? And is it just something we all have? No, it's uh, something you all can find for sure. So Fall Obsession is a hunting and outdoor media production company. Um, started it several years back and has kind of been an, an ever-evolving uh, process. We put together a, a great team of guys and uh, who are more than likely listening this morning, and I appreciate all of them. But um, we've uh, basically creating organic uh hunting and outdoor content, um, trying to get down to the same level as the blue-collar outdoorsman, because that's what all of us are, are just hard-working blue-collar outdoorsmen, and trying to create the, the same level of quality content um, that you're that you're going to see on, you know, these, these higher-quality pages and everything, but at a relatable level to, uh, to that everyday hunter, and Really, really taking off with some YouTube series that we that we've been running, and uh, our all inclusive website where we have not just our video series, but also just educational articles, wild game recipes. Our uh, our podcast is on there, and our podcast is probably what's uh, been the biggest push here in the past couple of years. We've gotten tons of listeners across the country uh, tune into that. We got over a hundred episodes online, and we drop a new one every single Monday morning on the, on all the major platforms and Waypoint TV app. Um, and now your show uh, as well, Dan, the, the Outdoor Call Radio. We're getting plugged into your network and excited about that. So, man, we're, we're just, uh, we love to hunt. We're, we're based down here uh, in Texas is kind of where our, I would call it our hub is, if you will. But, uh, we, man, we have pro and field staffers across the country and in over a dozen different states. Uh, so that and that really helps us with our with our content too, actually bringing it into into a relatable level for for people in those areas. You know, because because I myself I'm from Texas, I can't uh, I can't speak very knowledgeably to hunting in the Northeast or, or elk hunting in Colorado, whatever that might be. But it, we're very fortunate to have people who are well versed in those different subjects in both of those areas. Um, that can contribute to our pages and give us content for for our viewers, for our listeners. Um, relevant to, to the areas and the animals that they hunt. So. Yeah. Well, you know, that's part of the reason why I started the Outdoor Call Radio Network. Uh, we, I wanted a way to bring all my friends in from the industry, uh, a place to put, you know, not only start a show when I, uh, we wanted to do a Wednesday drive show, but uh, with the things, with technology, Sam, the way it is now, it's, it's, I mean, I've been doing the radio shows for 25 years and I mean, technology is, you can go start a, a network, you can you can go to YouTube, you can go to these other platforms, you can get an app developed with a server company and, and basically have your own radio station now, which is what we did on the Outdoor Call Radio app. 
but the nice, the yeah. beautiful thing about that is I'm able to bring shows in like yours and then uh, Trevor Berwick from the Outdoor Drive or Michael Lee from Backwoods Life down in, down in the south and Fred Eichler over there in Colorado. I'm able to get all these friends of mine that uh, have all these different perspectives on hunting and fishing um, and folks don't have to go look for it or search for it. It's all on one radio station that's online. And uh, it's amazing that what you can do with technology these days. And it's we're really happy to do it. It's a lot of work, but, boy, it's a lot of fun doing it. Absolutely, Dan. Yeah, it, it's there's just a, a huge push to to the online world for all this, which, which is good and bad. And, you know, kind of starting with the good, we have, you know, not that people aren't still watching the TV shows and everything on, on the major networks and, and such, but, um, you know, everything just being in the palm of your hand on your cell phone is, is kind of the direction that folks are going so they can plug in any time. And we've seen we've seen even more of the, the bigger name shows going online, whether it's, you know, on some of these uh, some of these hunting streaming apps that have been rolling out, like Waypoint TV or uh, My Outdoor TV, whatever they might be. And then uh, even just on YouTube as well, some shows have been uh, putting their episodes up on there. Um, the, the bad part of that, too, is just with uh, some of the social media <laughs> censorship and everything that you're that we're having to deal with. And I know we've, we've had to kind of finagle our way around some of that here at Fall Obsession, but, uh, you know, that's just, unfortunately, the world we live in. You know what? How, how long have you been doing this, Sam? <laughs> Man, so it, it has been a, it's been a long journey. I, Fall Obsession started as a blog. Uh, just a simple blog that I was just posting my own stuff on ten years ago. Yeah. And, but I would say for the last the last three or four years has really been when we've we've gotten serious. We've had a clear vision, and we've been trying to to build this into something bigger. Well, you've been doing it long enough. You should know this already. Just you know, you you no matter what you do or say, somebody's going to have something to say about it, or somebody's going to you know have a negative comment. I, I I when I first started, that used to bug me a little bit, and. I, I just I just got tone deaf to it. I just hit you know I, I always put that in the old uh, welcome file. That's the delete key. So you know yep. you're never gonna you're never gonna win, and it's not worth your it's not worth your sanity. Just just do yourself a favor and hit delete because <laughs> that's where it belongs. <laughs> you know I because if someone doesn't if someone doesn't agree with hunting or fishing or whatever, don't watch, don't listen. Uh, you know, you're more yeah. than welcome to turn the channel. I mean, it, nobody's nobody's sitting there forcing you to watch this stuff. Uh, Larry and Larry, Ryan, and Paul put my elk hunt up on our Respect the Games TV's uh, YouTube channel, and uh, actually had somebody call me a murderer because I shot the elk. You know, and I'm sitting there crying because that's the best elk I ever got. I mean, I I mean, it was an emotional day for me, and I we 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 grabbed every ounce of protein off of that mountain that I could, and that that elk went to feed my family. And, you know, if, if you don't agree with hunting, you know, I don't have a problem with that. God bless you. That's, that's your decision, but don't sit there and try to make me feel bad for doing my God given a right to go out and hunt and fish. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you and I are speaking the same language for sure. I, yeah. I'm, I'm with you 100% on that. Oh, you know, absolutely. So yeah, just keep trucking and doing what you're doing. Actually, hey RTG, we're going to be on Wavepoint, or if not, we're not already. Uh, we should be on Wavepoint TV uh, there as well. I think Larry told me that a couple weeks ago we were coming on. So uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 it's really way, it's really nice how you can diversify your shows and stuff these days. I know. Yeah, we're. I mean, like I said, we're we're on there. Our podcast is on all major podcast platforms. We post po our podcast videos to our YouTube channel. And uh, we're we're just trying to roll out some some unique uh, some unique series. One that's kind of near and dear to my heart, and that I've put a lot of time into is uh, we call our Texas Dirt series, which is on our YouTube channel. The first season, we're actually filming the second season right now. Um, but we last year, um, some of our admin crew down here in Texas, we were able to get on a uh, start managing an 807 acre property down here in Texas. Uh, pretty much raw hunting property and they've never been hunted before so we're building it from the ground up um so pretty pretty stoked about that put a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of money into that property so far and uh, continuing to do that again this year so series like that are just some some cool stuff that we're trying to bring to our to our platforms that one in particular man where it, it's not just hunting and stuff that i mean once you roll into hunting season there's some hunting on there but uh, we're also just uh trying to show kind of the, the management side of of all that behind the, uh, you know, all the work that goes into it beforehand, I guess you should say. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it's been fun. So. 
so so we're going to have you guys on Mon every Monday. You will be able to go to the Outdoor Call Radio app and hear Fall Obsession here. Here, uh, Sam and all the gang. What, what when they if they tune in on Mondays, Sam? What are they going to hear? What kind of what kind of topics or shows are are you going to be on? Or are they going to be able to hear when they check it out? Man, any and everything. Like I said, we we have had over a hundred episodes online, diligently publishing uh, every single morning, Monday morning, excuse me. And uh, and we we have sometimes we got guests on. We had our our latest guest, I guess I should say, was. Um, lady named Sarah Gamash from uh, the Pacific Northwest, big time, big game hunter, Africa hunter. She, she's gone all sorts of crazy adventures and she just came on to kind of tell her story. Some of her adventures, we have guests like her on all the time. Some of our own guys, our own staff members, they, uh, they're very knowledgeable in, in different areas. Uh, like even some stuff that's not as glamorous, like the, the Colorado, uh, draw application process and some complicated stuff like that. Some of our guys are very well versed in that and come on to discuss you know, educational points like that. And, man, sometimes, and honestly, my favorite episodes to record are what we call just our hunting camp talk episodes where we just get on and just start talking hunting. No no agenda, no notes, no special guests or anything like that. It's just us. It's just us hanging out, talking hunting. And, man, I, I love those sessions. Oftentimes it's me and our uh, either our media production manager, Nick Powell, or our marketing manager, Drew Tordick. Um, both of those guys come on with me frequently just to hang out, talk hunting. And we really try to bring our podcast at those times into, we want our listeners to feel like they are in hunting camp with us, just hanging out, listening to, listen to us talk around a campfire. So that's what we try to do. There you go. Dale Griffin uh, just chimed in on Facebook Live, says he listens to the app almost every night. Dale, that's very kind of you. Thank you. We appreciate that, buddy. Awesome. So uh, I, I got to tell you, I popped your logo up on Facebook uh, two weeks ago and said, hey, new show coming soon. And I had more people compliment. They love that logo. Man, it, it, we've gotten a lot of compliments over that. We, uh, I think it was, I don't know, it was probably four, maybe five years ago now. I, I don't recall exactly that we kind of did a, a quote-unquote takeover on, uh, on some of our logos and designs and launched the new website platform that we still have today that is custom designed for us sharing all these different avenues of content. But, man, when we rolled that logo out, uh, it was it was that same that same interaction. You know, folks were just they they loved it, and I was happy to see that. And, you know, we uh, we're we're keeping it going and keeping that logo and, and variations of it in all of our content because it's it's going strong. Yeah, Tommy Allen, how you doing? Good morning, happy four, Sean. I will see you next week in Ohio at the Pure Whitetail Bash, buddy. Tommy, if you're there, I'll see you at the bash. Susan, good morning, back in Missouri. Good to see you. Thanks for everybody checking out Facebook Live this morning. Hey, uh, when we come back, well, I'm going to take a real quick break. Uh, when we come back, Sam, let's talk a little bit about where hunting is in Texas. Uh, you know, what the what the what your populations look like. How's the Rios doing down there? I don't know if I've really talked to anybody in Texas about Rios. I had Denny Brower on. You know who Denny is, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, Denny is a pro bass angler, just retired. He just retired down there to Lake Amistad. And uh, Denny's a big bow hunter. Uh, the, guy, the guy was on a Wheaties box for fishing. I mean, how much bigger can you get for that? But he loves bow hunting as much as he does fishing. We were talking about some of the stuff. But when we come back, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in your neck of the woods down in Texas as far as the game. Can we do that? Absolutely. All right. We'll be right back with Sam from Fall Obsession on the Outdoor Call Radio Network. We'll be back after these fine words from our partners. This is the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on Des Moines Sports Leader, 1350 ESPN. All right, welcome back to the Outdoor Call Radio with Outdoors Dan on 1350 ESPN. Hope everyone's having a great 4th of July weekend. My guest is Mr. Sam from Fall Obsession down there in Texas. We're talking a little hunting. And uh, I, I got to hey, who's the guy on your website? You guys got all them geese or whatever. There's like one, two, three, four, five of you. Who's if you're looking at it? Who's the guy with the beard on the far left there, Sam? <laughs> that's uh, that's our one of our staff guys. It's Tyler Wolf, uh, and the beard is glorious. Absolutely. Well, see, we do. You, I mean, do you know who Ken? Do you know who Ken Huser is? Ever watch? You watch Respect the Game TV, don't you? Of course I do. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know who Kent is. That's Ryan's daddy, right? Yeah. I've yeah. Seen him, yes, sir. Yeah. I was looking at your website, and it's like. Oh my gosh, that guy looks like Kent. So I mean, you you got a scary guy you got to put up with too. <laughs> yeah, 
he's uh he's scary but uh he's he's very very knowledgeable he's got a heart of gold and uh and one of the best hunters that i've ever met for sure he's he's legit well there you go now just just tell me if just do me a favor tell me that at least your your bearded guy knows how to judge a deer because kent doesn't know how to judge a deer for nothing it, we were <laughs> we were filming in iowa last year i was hunting and kent came up and he was filming for me and he goes, he's sitting there tapping me on the head. Dan, there's a shooter, shooter, shooter. And I, I kind of, you know, you, you tense up as soon as somebody does that, right? You know, you're all nervous. Right. And, and I just kind of looked over my shoulder, and there's about a 135 coming into the bean field. And I looked at him. I said, that's a shooter? And he just looks at me, yeah, that's a shooter. I said, we're in Iowa. Come on. <laughs> You know, because he's, uh, he's always telling me he sees these 200-inch deer all the time, Sam, and it's like, we need to work on your ju- your antler development skills there. We need to buy you a new tape measure. <laughs> he just got excited, you know. I, I've done that before. You know, when you're filming, I mean, you guys are doing the same thing. When you're out there filming and stuff and you see that flash of antler come through the brush and stuff, boy, you, your heart just starts pounding. You reach over, you make sure that ND filter where it's need to be and get you start reaching for that focus ring and... I mean, it because you, you, you got to be you got to be the camera guy first, right? Or the camera person first, and it, it, it's a definite. It adds a different element to it for sure, doesn't it? Oh, it does, man. And and that's I mean, we do a majority of, of self filming, you know, down here with our with our series and everything. And um, it, it's a luxury actually when there's when there's a couple of us in camp that can run a camera because we actually we actually have cameramen at that point, but. Uh, it's uh, until that point you're spot on. It's just uh, you, you got to be dedicated to that camera, and uh, that's that's the unfortunate part of having a having a platform. You know, sometimes you you wish you could just hunt, but but you can't. You gotta you gotta get that camera on them. Yeah. See, I and I I self film probably ninety percent of my stuff. Uh, once Ken comes up and helps me once in a while, Larry will sit with me. But it, it, I tell you, I hate I hate trying to film deer hunts when you're when you're bow hunting by yourself. I mean, it's just I've I've had so. Larry calls me the watcher of the show. He's Dan's the deer, the deer watcher because I sit there. He gets so mad at me. I'll have bucks come into the decoy and stuff, and you, you, you're going to relate to this because you're doing it. I, I, you know, when you're sitting there when you're filming and you sit there and you look and you're waiting for that deer to turn, so you got to you you want to take the best pristine shot you can to put that animal down as quickly and humanely as possible. I mean, that's our mission as a hunter, right? And, yeah. and you want to make sure the footage is good as well. So I'm sitting here trying to get all this stuff. I got these bucks coming into my Dave, my Dave Smith buck decoy. And Larry goes, why didn't you shoot him right there? I said, well, I, I didn't think I had the right angle. He goes, that deer was dead right there. What's your problem? I said, you know, I don't want to hear any more criticism out of you, Larry Mack. You know, I'm sorry, but at the moment, I didn't think I had the opportunity. He goes, you know what? You just like watching deer. You're, you're just the watcher. You're the designated watcher of the show. <laughs> yeah so, Man, I, yeah I would uh i don't know I'm, i might get labeled that after last season because with our with our first year on the second <laughs> property down here man i i passed on some bucks that in previous years on previous properties i probably would have shot but you know we're trying to be management minded these these all these bucks were probably three some four and a half year olds they, they were good deer again a, a blue collar hunter in texas years ago would have shot them but now i'm now i'm trying to be management minded and there's one that haunts me. I probably he's probably if there's one I should have shot it was probably him. But the rest of them I'm pretty happy with my decision to let them walk. But yeah, I, I would probably get branded as the fall obsession deer watcher. Last year. <laughs> well, <laughs> God, I'll tip my hat to you because we got to stick together. I'm telling you, I there was one Sam I should have probably taken a shot. He, I I called him, grunted him right in. He went right to the decoy. He was he was a nine point, but he had three on one side and six on the other. And he, he was he was wide. He was a nice deer, and it's just like eh, I'm gonna let him go one more one more year. And I got back home and I looked at the footage, and it's like eh, I kind of screwed up. He had bigger mass than I thought. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll send you a photo after we get done recording of this deer that I passed. You yeah, you. I, I love decoying. I I don't know about you, but I, to me, I think that's that's that is so fun. When you get them deer to get all gomered up and they come in sideways with that attitude and they, they knock that decoy off its pedestal, I, I don't I don't th- that's about as exciting as it gets in the fall. I, that is when it all works out, it that's that's such a great hunt. 
Oh yeah, that, that's outstanding right there. Yeah. Did you see Larry's hunt in Kansas? Uh, it's on Munster Bucks. I, I think Tyler put it on Munster Bucks this last year. His his Kansas hunt two years ago was that that was one of the neatest decoy hunts I've ever seen. Did you get that was on Heartbreak Ridge out at uh, out in Kansas where we go? Did you see that hunt? I, I did. That was uh, man. That that hunt just kind of. I don't know, as a bow hunter, it kind of sent chills down my back. Like, that's just, uh, that's like watching a movie, yeah. you know, in the bow hunting world. Because that, that's, that's, that's just picture perfect what you want to see from a buck coming in or, 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 or what you dream of seeing, I guess I should say. A buck that's that, that locked in. Um, I, was, I was very, very jealous. <laughs> oh, I was too, because I never get to hunt that spot. You know, Larry comes into camp. It's all about Larry. Oh, Larry's here. Larry gets to go to Heartbreak Ranch. Where am I going? You're going to Gar Hole Number Two. <laughs> Man, uh, you you might need to to rebrand your show, Harp on Larry, or yeah. something like that. Oh, <laughs> Sam, I haven't even started harping on Larry yet. <laughs> he gives it to me five times better. Trust me, I, I I I'll never catch up with Larry Mack. I'm telling you. Larry, I, I talk to Larry every day, man. He's one of my best buddies, but he's he's always giving me grief. Malcolm Jones, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for watching on Facebook Live. Appreciate you. Um, you know, that's the thing, Sam. Yeah, you get around people. You you said it a few minutes ago with your staff. You get around folks that know, you know, they're passionate about hunting. You get to tell stories. You sit there and talk stories and strategies and stuff. And when you get somebody that's like-minded with it, you get to work with like that. It it really is a blessing. Um, you know, there's nothing I wouldn't do for Larry Ryan or Paul. There, it, we got such a good team on RTG, and it sounds like, to me like you got the exact same situation going on with Fall Obsession. Yeah, man. I, I like I said earlier, I'm I'm very proud of, of our team and, and kind of the crew that we put together here. And you know, it, it's kind of it, it's funny how it's evolved over the years. Like uh, like our our vice president, marketing manager Drew Tordic, he started back in 2015 with us as just uh, just one of our field staff members. Actually, our first field staff crew we ever put together, and he's he's come on up through fall obsession and uh, and just been pretty influential on the growth that we've seen. I'm you know I'm like I mentioned I'm a blue collar blue collar hunter. I don't work for fall obsession full time. My full time job is actually as a firefighter paramedic. Oh, good and, for you. Uh, and our our media production manager, Nick Powell, he's actually a, a firefighter paramedic as well. That's how we got to know each other is working for the same agency. So, um, it, you know, it, it's relationships like that that have come into hunting, and now hunting is honestly a, a huge focus of it. And our staff has done an amazing job, too. Like you mentioned that picture that you saw on our website of those those folks holding those snow geese and everything. Um, that was a hunt that happened this past spring. Um, kind of our Midwestern crew, some folks that live out there in, in Kansas and, and Indiana and that area up in there through the Midwest, they, uh, you know, they've communicated over email, text, all that kind of stuff over, over the years, but they've never gone hunting before. And they actually took the initiative to put together a hunt and go on a trip together um, with an outfitter, uh, I believe, in, uh, in Missouri. And they, uh, they just absolutely killed it and said from a very get-go that it was just like family, just hanging out again. And, and that's kind of the culture that we want to have here at Fall Obsession is, is that family, that true hunting camp culture, you know, behind the cameras, behind the, the social media pages and everything. We're, we're just like everybody else, and that's kind of that's what we want to bring to our content. Well, that's exactly what you want. Hey, how's the real population down there in Texas? Are, you, how's your, are your turkeys doing good? Man, it, it, it's a little little sparse in my neck of the woods, if I'm being honest. Um, I actually, I did not turkey hunt this spring at all. And um, the property that we have, you know, we've, we've seen just some trail cam pictures just here and there, sporadic of turkeys every once in a while. But it was really one specific area of the property. And then uh, and then our our admin, Nick, his, his dad, both of our dads hunt the property with us. And uh, his dad went out there this, this past spring for a couple weekends. And first weekend, I was texting him, asking him if he was seeing any birds out there, and he said, "No, man, I've, I've seen like one hen, and that, that's it. There's nothing. There's nothing out here." Second weekend, went they, excuse me. Second weekend, they went out there. They were able to uh, actually connect his daughter on a on a on a tom down there, which was the first first tom that we've seen on the property. So um, I was excited. <coughs> excuse me. I was excited for her, but man, it's uh, it's dry down here, and. I would say in the past two, three years, there's definitely been a little bit of a decline. So, 
Yeah, I think that's, I just had Iowa turkey biologists on this morning, and we're, I'm hearing that from all over the country. Um, you know, our turkeys are, you know, in a declining situation, and, you know, it's definitely something we, as outdoors folks, we need to pay attention to it and protect the resource as much as we can, you know. So, uh, I, yeah. you guys are so blessed down in Texas with the, you know, you got great, you got turkeys, you got javelinas, you got what beautiful white tails, you got elk. You got bear. I mean, you got everything down there you could ever want. It uh, it is a land of opportunity for sure. I'm I'm exclusively pretty much whitetails and uh, feral hogs on my place. But you head south, absolutely javelinas, and uh, even one thing that's been really uh, really kind of coming along up in our in the Panhandle up in Texas is actually pronghorn. Yeah, we actually uh, last year actually have a pronghorn season down here for the first time and. Uh, uh, a very good personal friend of mine and a fellow hunter, we had him on the podcast uh, last fall. He actually got to go on a Texas pronghorn hunt, and uh, it was an incredible experience for him. That that episode's on our site, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's more and more opportunities like that coming to Texas. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. Now, since you're a paramedic, are you ACLS certified? Absolutely, yes, sir. Okay, well, then I can hunt with you, because if I ever come down here and hunt with you, and if I actually get <laughs> to shoot something, you can revive me then. Yeah, yeah, I'll uh, I'll tag along. You know, I, I take payment and backstrap. So. I, I almost needed somebody that was ACLS certified, that advanced cardiac life support. I almost needed somebody when I when I got my elk on Colorado. It's like I thought Paul and Ryan were going to have to thump me, or not Paul and Ryan, Paul and Ty, because I'm getting. I tell you, it's Sam. It's it's crazy. Well, I, I got to tell you, I enjoyed having you on here. Uh, I can't wait for everybody to get to hear your shows on Mondays on the Outdoor Call Radio app. I look forward to getting to know you better. And uh, I know Larry speaks so really, really highly of you and, and all the, everybody. And uh, so I'm, I'm anxious to hear your shows as well as everybody else. And we'll, uh, we'll get you back on again at another time and visit if that's okay. Yeah, man, I, I enjoyed it. Thanks for, thanks for having us on, letting us talk about Paul's session and, uh, uh, yeah, we we look forward to, to joining your network and being a part of it. Yeah, well, we're gonna we're definitely gonna be happy to promote you. That's for sure. Hey, before I let you go, what elite are you shooting? Man, uh, I'm I'm hoping to be running that Envision um, this up, this upcoming year. I got a I got a text thread going with Larry about uh, about some equipment for our staff this year and stuff. So. I'm excited to, to get an Envision in my hand. You're going to love it. it uh, as much as I love the Remedy last year, you're going to really love that Envision, that wider limb pocket and uh, that riser being the length of that riser out. And that bow is so balanced in your hand, Sam, you're going to really enjoy shooting that. Man, I'm excited. I'm still holding on to my Cure, man. I love that bow, too. Oh, that's, that's a, awesome. Yeah, that that was a great bow. I love that Cure and the Remedy were my favorites until this uh, Envision came out. I, I think you'll be really happy. So awesome. I, you, I'll, you're going to have to give me a holler and let me know how you like it when you get it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll have plenty of content on our pages about them, too. All right. Sam, tell everybody how they can find you. Man, Fall Obsession is on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, be sure you go subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're putting out new videos on a weekly basis on there. FallObsession.com is our website. Like I mentioned earlier, all of our uh, media series, uh, wild game recipes, educational articles, our online store with some of our apparel, everything is on that website covering hundreds of different topics in the, the hunting world. And uh, we're also now with our podcast, we're also on Waypoint TV, a uh, free hunting and outdoor streaming service, you can, app you can download on your phone. We're on Outdoor Call Radio, obviously, uh, with Dan. And uh, also go check us out on Go Wild app, which is a censorship-free app for hunters and outdoorsmen. So we're in a lot of places, got a lot of good things going. There you go. Hey, and thank you for what you do uh, out there keeping people safe and taking care of them i we don't tell our uh, emt and service people on uh, thank you enough so thank you for doing that appreciate it thank you you're welcome sam we'll talk to you soon we'll be right back on 1350 espn all right guys well thanks for listening y'all heard it all here on fall obsession podcast um and including how you guys can go and find fall obsession and follow us i will add to uh to our apparel uh, on our website and everything, we are running right now a $10 deal of the week, um, which is where we just 
every week select a random apparel item, either a hat or a shirt that we have, mark it down to $10, and sell it for that price for an entire week. So if you guys want to uh, to get you in some, some good apparel for a reasonable cost, go to fallobsession.com, check out our $10 deal of the week. Again, hats, shirts, it's a different one every week. Really, with the rising costs of everything in today's world, we are doing our best to try and give you guys the opportunity to have uh, fresh, clean hunting and outdoor apparel um, at a reasonable cost. So uh, doing everything we can to make that possible for you guys. So head on over to fallobsession.com and uh, and do that. I'll also mention that Ridge Rock Hunt Company is our podcast sponsor. I didn't mention it there uh on the on the radio show but um, for our podcast Derek and Lacey over there in Mississippi they book hunts Um, if you are looking to book a hunt with a vetted trusted outfitter um, in North America whatever it might be wherever it might be and whatever your budget might be give Derek a call he'll work with you to find uh, something that's gonna that's gonna be what you're looking for Um, Ridge Rock Hunt Company go check out their website check them out on social media Derek's phone number is all over it so be sure you give him a call and uh, see what your next adventure might entail it might not cost as much as you thought so uh, appreciate you guys listening to another fall obsession podcast again the outdoor call radio show is where we're going to be streaming on Mondays uh, on their show and every once in a while Dan is going to have us on his uh, his live show as well so be sure that you guys tune in follow him on Facebook and uh, that way you can see the live shows on Facebook live on the weekends as well so thank you guys for listening to another fall obsession podcast we're back with y'all again next Monday morning we'll catch you then